Today we're going to build a Wi-Fi connected self-watering pot that waters on soil moisture and uh, sends alert notifications when the water reservoir gets low. Materials we're going to use are an old trash can, uh, an old soil pot. We're also going to use uh, some 3M high 90 strength contact adhesive to bond plastics together. And then we're going to also use the uh, self-watering pot sub-assembly kit from Adoja. The first thing we did is we prepped our containers. We drilled a 3 8 inch hole in our soil pot. And we also drilled a 3 8 inch hole about two and a half inches down in our container, uh, our trash can. And we did, drilled a quarter inch hole uh, around that as well. We also put a piece of Velcro there. That's where we're going to house our box. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and glue our pump to the bottom of this reservoir. We'll show you how we do that now. We're going to start by taking our pump and sanding the bottom. This is going to help the contact adhesive bond better. And then scrub the bottom of the reservoir where we're going to put the pump, kind of around the center. Scuff it up with some sandpaper. We're going to connect our uh, 3 8 inch outer diameter, quarter inch inner diameter tubing to our uh, pump. Go ahead and spray your contact adhesive onto the bottom of your reservoir. After you've sprayed the bottom of your pump as well and you've waited about 30 to 45 seconds, go ahead and take your pump with your hose attached um, and press firmly down on the bottom of your reservoir. After the pump dries, pull the level switch and pump wires through the quarter inch hole and guide the tubing through your 3 8 inch hole. Plug in the water level sensor switch. Plug in the submersible water pump. Let's add a plant to this. You can put a net screen in the bottom if you like. Just take your plant and slide it into your pot. And you're going to rest it like that and you can put water in it ahead of time just be sure not to fill it up over the holes you can seal these holes with if you want but we're not going to fill the water up over these holes so we're not going to seal them off with your holes lined slide your tubing through take your moisture sensor just stick it into your pot you can push it deep down in there Take the other end of your sensor, and what I like to do is just kind of feed it through where your wire is connected, bring it out, have the blue wires down, the black wires up, plug it right into your board. So let's add a watering ring. Okay, so now we've got our water ring attached. Um, we've got the quarter inch hose inside the quarter inch inner diameter hose. The watering ring has holes drilled around the inside of the bottom. And so we're gonna go ahead and get this guy plugged in, connected to the platform and programmed. Take your power supply. Plug it into the wall and we're ready to go. Just to show you how to set up the profile if you were doing it from scratch. Motor switch channel one, that's where we plugged in the pump. Just set it up to trigger mode, 20 seconds. Click the deploy, you're good there. Water level sensor switch. If you want an alert when the water level is low, enable that. You can use brackets for device name and it'll let you send you a message that the device name needs water. We're gonna protect this pin 16, which is right here. Pump switch one, you can see that. So when the switch goes off, it will not let the pump run. That protects the pump. Uh, sends us a message, and then the soil moisture is going to trigger the pump since we set it to trigger mode. When the moisture level reaches 6 out of 10, it's going to try to water to 7 out of 10 and attempt to water four times up to 20 seconds each time, which is what we set right here. Make sure you guys click deploy whenever you change anything, and you're good to go. We're going to test it out by pulling the moisture sensor out. 
drying it off. Oh, there it goes. Yep. Put that back in there. 